Welcome back to the review with Wally Waves. Right guys, let's get into it. Tonight's episode is all about the DIY issues range that we started a few videos back. Back for some more. This is something that I've been creating the last few months. Ah, it was touch and go, but I've perfected it. Thanks to the guys at Boss Waves for supplying all our concentrate spaces. No nicotine will be used during this video, sorry, but... That's just how it is. Right guys, we're looking at a Cereal Frosties mix. This is something that I was looking for for quite some time now. So when it came up I thought, let me give it a shot, let's, let's have a go at it and see where we go from there. And try it out. Man, let me tell you, this is one of the best e-juices that I've made myself and that's come to the point that I don't want to put my vape down so it's that good let's quickly dive down see what we will be using see the steps go through their website and let's just spice things up I'll be doing a screen record for you guys to, to just to go through the website how much the concentrates are where you can get them what's the shipping fee and everything that Boss Vape has got to offer for you guys. back at the close-up guys all these flavors you will be finding it on their website boss vapes mix like a boss first flavor we're going through is your malted milk from TFA the flavor apprentice another one from flavor apprentice lucky leprechaun cereal we've got the, another the flavor Apprentice Bavarian Cream five percent. We've got another TFA from them. We've got the marshmallow over there. We've got Capella Super Sweet. We've got another Capella Serial 27. Boss Bay mix like a boss true that next one is a flavor flavor art from boss vape this is the cream fresh all these ingredients guys you will find them in the link below on their website please check them out 
let's quickly start mixing and see the end results but I know it's super sweet cool now we've got our secret ingredient in there top secret if you guys would like to know what is in there leave a comment below don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see the answer guys that's my recipe secret recipe cool but the rest you can find it on their website you'll get something similar but ah oh man let me tell you with that little ingredient in there so nice okay the first ingredient that we're gonna use is acetyl riposine I don't know how to pronounce that so just excuse it <laughs> all right we're gonna use that on 1% at 0 0.50 milliliters or 0 0.5 grams so I'll be just do it like this so you guys can see as well 0 0.5 in my syringe drop this down in there always guys when you do use nicotine be safe always wear gloves when do using the chemical or handling it anyway just use for your own safety just use some gloves to prevent further injuries right so that was the first ingredient i'll just put it here on the side next we're going to use some bavarian cream also at two percent this will give us uh, one milliliter of Bavarian cream that goes into this mix guys one more thing if you do mix please make sure that you wash out your syringe after every flavor for just you don't want to cross contaminate all your concentrates For doing it this way just so that I don't know all my flavors are not mixed they all appear for the next next batch so the next one we're using the Capella Serial 27 this will go in at 5% looking at 2.5 ml of concentrate this is the this is the part where you get that cereal and the super sweet and the fresh cream with the marshmallow gives you that frosty taste to it and the acid what acetyl yeah please guys leave a comment down below if you know how to pronounce that but yeah uh, struggles and I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> but cool okay we've got the serial 27 in there as well at 5% so guys if you struggle keeping up the recipe will be on the site you can just follow that the secret ingredient I've got in here, guys, it's top secret. As soon as I get at least 50 subscribers and at least 100 likes on my videos, I'll be showing you guys what's my secret ingredient. But for now, it's simple. Next one, we'll be using Green Fresh at 1% as well. That gives us 0 0.1, 0 
five mls and that's a super super nice flavor just add a little bit in the left so i had to squeeze it out okay next we're using the marshmallow marshmallow will be coming in at two percent this gives us one milliliter per batch guys i'm making a 50 ml of e liquid here so the amount is adjustable as you go along marshmallow is one of my favorites with Bavarian cream if you don't have Bavarian cream in your inventory man there's something wrong with you and you need to step up your game get some Bavarian cream guys it goes well with anything you make any dessert dish type flavors you'll be creating man let me tell you Bavarian cream puts the cherry on top next we will be using the leprechaun cereal also going in at a two percent also one mls I need to invest in a new syringe Thing takes forever to suck up that little bit of e liquid. So we're looking at one ml. Just stop right there, guys. You can go on the scale. Do it by grams. Just do it by drops, depending on what your style, what you like. I like doing it by moles. It's quicker. It's it's a bit easier though. But yeah, I I prefer using milliliters by grams so the grams you need to drop 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 or just yeah overshoot it and, yeah it's a hassle next one we will be using malted milk at one percent 0.5 ml This is nice only when you use a recipe that actually the malted milk goes well with there's a few recipes that the malted milk it stands out like bad and it, it just goes over the top in one of your recipes if you don't use it correctly so the next one we are gonna use super sweet from Capella we're going in at 0.75 we're looking about at 30, 0.38 ml that should do it just a little backstory guys while we put in our premix we've got a 80 20 1 liter Big ups to the guy Imran at Boss Vapes for supplying me with this one liter. Man, I love me some juice. I'm a bit allergic to the PG in our mixes, so I'm just yeah. I'm going up and up and up so I can get my my right amount of PG in my mixes. So far with the 8020, I haven't had a problem. I haven't suffered from headaches, fatigue, all that side effects from propylene glycol. So guys, if you're out there, please be safe with these things. Don't overdo it. Compromise when can. So I'm gonna add the rest to 50 mils 
from the 8020 premix that I've got from Imran at Boss Vapes. He supplied me with a whole liter, can you guys believe it? Usually you have to buy a 50 ml, a 500 ml and another 500 ml and do the PGVG ratios yourself. But this comes in an easy 80-20 or 70-30 blend that you can choose from on this side. So the amount that I've made here, yeah, it came up to 50.01 ml of juice. Just gonna wash up my syringe so nothing that is sticky. Now I'm gonna quickly take my mixing tool. There's so many ways of mixing your juices. Some people go by shaking them, some just stir them with a big ass frother I just use a little one and it also gets the job done let's quickly mix this up put it in the bottle have a good shake leave it to steep for a week or so for full potential on your flavor otherwise it's a shaken way I've got my frother on its lowest speed so I don't mess up all the juice and create bubbles in the little container. It might take a little time, but it works. It really works. All right, guys, I've been mixing it now for at least 10 minutes just to make sure that all my flavors has been mixed through properly. Light bowl so all that excess juice can go off the throttle. The amount of fragrance that this little oak gives off. Ooh -wee. So that's the color that you will be getting. If you leave it to steep for a few days, I tell you, it's just as good, even better if you want to ask. So I'm just getting a 50 ml dropper bottle. To put this in there so guys this is a 50 ml bottle break the seal not yet I'm gonna let this still breathe for at least 10 hours before I put the cap back on but for now, I'm gonna put the cap on just to give it an extra shake. Just dump that in there. Let's keep the boring part. Right to the rim, not actually to the rim, but there's a little spot after shaking it, guys I'm just doing this just for an extra bit of mixing in there so I'm gonna let this steep now for at least 10 hours before I close the cap back up top and let me just get that open See, I just broke the seal. Mm, smell that, smell, smell. No, I'm just joking. It's only me that could smell this. <laughs> so, right, guys, if you would like to smell that, go on to Boss Vapes channel and get yourself some supplies. Start mixing your, by yourself. Experience something new. Just, just get out there and be creative. Be creative with what you do. Let's quickly go back up top and let's quickly have a chat. Back up top guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching that. Yeah, thanks for watching that. I know 
it's a hassle for watching it but at the end of the day I've got a nice batch of e-liquid with me right now thanks to Boss Vapes for supplying this cool big ups to you Imran thank you once again guys if you want to get into mixing yourself please do by all means find out where you can start with what can you start check out Boss Vapes channel Oh, my channel for more e-juice recipes. I will be showing you how to create them where I got all my concentrates from but that's easy guys I get them from one spot Boss Vapes Mix like a boss My guy will sort you out He's got the best prices in South Africa He's good He, he loves his customers and what can I say more? The guy is just amazing. Big ups to you Imran, thank you for the awesome support with my channel. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, don't forget, stop that stinkies and start vaping. As long as you are vaping, you are good. Keep it real guys, this is Wally Waves, signing out.